Welcome to Drawtopia. Today we're not only going to change this penguin into a cartoon character, we are going to create interchangeable clothing as well. Now let's get drawing. Today we need our usual pencil, our razor, marker pen and coloured pens for a bit later to colour in. But today we actually need an extra sheet of paper because what we'll do is we're going to create some clothing and accessories for our penguin and use our scissors to cut them out so we can interchange those items on our character and some tracing paper or if you don't have any tracing paper you can use baking paper now we don't necessarily need this but it will make it a little easier for us when creating the clothing and accessories but I will show you both ways with the tracing paper and just simply with paper. So let's put the extra paper, tracing paper and the scissors to the side. And let's get drawing with our character. Get our pencil and as usual we'll do our head first. Just going to do a circle here. Now what we're going to do is do another circle underneath around the same size as the head and then connecting that we're going to do a big circle it's a lot wider so kind of like you're doing a snowman like so and I'll make that Now what we'll do is we'll add some feet in and we're just going to put some little ovals here and here just to indicate around where the feet will be. Now what we're going to do is connect these circles and quickly form the body. So we're just going to lightly start from the side edge here, come down and in this little space we're going to come down a little bit and then go out and touch the edge of this middle circle and then make our way out to the big circle come around and leave it there and then for the right we're going to do the same thing but this time we're going to skip the middle circle and connect it to the top now we need to put the arms in and this is why I've left that little bit of space here. In the image you can't really see the penguin's wings or arms so let's add them in ourselves. We're going to start in the, in the edge of this middle circle and just a line down the side of the body and go towards the bottom and we'll curve around, come back up and then make our way to the end of the line here just like so so we're just going to go up and then align it to our side of the body and then for our right we're going to start somewhere around a similar height to the first arm and going to come out from the body make our way down and we're just going to curl it curve it just a little bit up and out and curl in and go to stop at the body like so now we're starting to form a bit of a penguin shape now for the moment we're just going to put a really long triangle and it's going to start if we put a line across the middle and the across the horizontal and vertical of the head somewhere about halfway between the middle and the end and just a simple triangle for the moment again this is just positioning where the beak will be and just in the middle somewhere we're going to do the eye and I'm going to just put a circle here for the time being just off center actually I think like so and now you can see we have our basic penguin shape and now it's time to fill in a bit more details and create more of the cartoon look for the penguin. So let's, as we do, always start with the head. And we've already got our shape, but for the head shape, 
instead of it being round, looking at the image, it's not a perfect round head. So I think let's exaggerate that and give it a bit more character. So we're going to start from this triangle beak area that we drew, and I'm going to cut out a little bit of the circle. So we're going to get inside the circle and go towards the right corner of the circle and go around and come down, maybe cut off a little bit of the edge of that circle and then we're going to connect it to that arm line like so. And then for the bottom, we might cut out a little bit of here, uh, this line here and just go in a little bit more and then curve and this line here, the body line, we're going to connect that now, like so. Follow it, just form that line so we can see it a little better. And make our way around the body. We're going to stop around there. And now we're going to connect the feet to the body, but they do have a little bit of you I want to say legs so we're going to draw that in and it's just a little curve like so just a little kink and then we're going to do this same thing on the other side we can follow this line around actually stop around there and going to go up and in like that and then we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. So we're going to go around and down. Go to the other side of the foot and curl up. And then go back to the round circle body. And make our way up to underneath the wing of the penguin. Now, because the penguin has a dark head and a light body let's add that in so using the line of this arm we're going to draw that a bit darker come around we're going to go up and then and connect it to the other side of the body like so and now we have our belly of our penguin Now for our feet, we're just going to put a couple of little, very small lines for the feet, the legs I should say, here and here. And then for the feet, they have these web feet. So going to go out and curve in, kind of like a big finger. Then we're going to do another one in the middle. Just a big curve like that, and then another curve opposite way as we did the first, like so, round, and then make our way up to our little leg line, just there. And if you want, you can connect the ends of these curves together to make the web. And then again, we're going to do the exact same thing on the other foot. Come to the leg and we're going to curl out, come back in, another one in the middle, big curve, and then one out to the side, like so. I'm just going to take that line and go across the leg like that, and I might do the same on this side as well. And then again, if you like, you don't have to do this connect the web of the feet. Now that it's taking shape, we're just going to finish off the head. So let's do the eye first and it kind of looks a little tired. So let's try and achieve a bit of a tired look. So using the circle as a guide through halfway the circle, we're going to do a bit of a curved line like this. Then around the bottom of the circle, 
we're going to put a another line just down the bottom here, not as long as that. And then we're going to do a curve connecting to the bottom line and then a curve going up towards our top eyelid like so. And then for the circle, we're not going to do a full circle, we're going to do a half circle and the top, this top curve that we put in is going to cut out some of that circle and that will give him that bit of a tired look. Now we're going to exaggerate the eyelid so again using this as a guide we're going to make it higher so starting from just above the eyelid line here we're going to do a curve up and down and just leave it like that. And now he's looking a little tired. Now for the beak, we're going to create a bit of a different beak and make it a bit more interesting than the photo. So we're going to start at the top of this triangle, about here, and we're going to do a big curve and make our way around the eye. So we'll end up maybe around here somewhere going to do a big, or well, maybe even around here, maybe halfway through the triangle that we drew, and do a big curve like that. So it should just sit maybe just, just above or on line with the bottom of the eye, and go to the top. And what we're going to do, we're going to curve down and back up, and then to this point of the triangle, just to make the beak a little bit more interesting. So down, and we're going to go up and possibly go higher than this point here. So we're probably going to end up around there. Go up really high and then come down to the triangle point like so. Then we're going to connect these two lines with a bit of a curve. So just a small curve and by giving the curve kind of looks like he's having a bit of a grin or he's got a bit of a smile going on and then for the bottom of the beak we're going to start from this edge we're going to come down to about there and then we're going to go up and then similar to this shape we're going to go up around and maybe connect it a little short to the end of the beak. So somewhere around there. So let's do that. We'll go up towards this line, but not go to it. We're going to just stop just before. Curve back down and make our way up to that point there. And now we've got our beak and we've pretty much got the shape of our penguin. What we will do now is I'm going to erase all my guides uh, so we can see the penguin a little better and I'll see you in two seconds. Okay, we're back and now we can see our penguin and he's looking pretty cool at the moment. Let's get our black marker pen, I think, and let's start outlining. So I'm going to start with the head, as I usually do, and going to start from the beak and go up and around. Do my hand. And then do the body and connect, like so. I might erase this line so I don't get confused. To the bottom of the body and connect it to that line. And now let's put in our other arm. Like so. Now for our body. I just decided to add a little bit of curve, just a bit more character. Go to the legs and add those in. And 
then I'll add those little lines in for the webs. And I'll do the middle, the other leg, and the feet. Finish off the body. And finally for the head, put the eye in. And the pupil. And with the top of the eyelid, I might not connect it to that line. I'm going to start a little higher and stop where I have my pencil. So that's going to do that, just like that. And leave that as is. And now for the beak, finally. Like so. Time to erase all the pencil and I'll see you soon. And there you have it, our cartoon penguin. I've made my penguin a dark grey so we can see the detail in the eyes and the little extras that we placed in. Now, remember we had our tracing paper and our extra paper. Now, there's two ways of doing this. You can put a, just simply use a paper if you like, and you should be able to see the penguin in the background. Now, if you can't, that's where we can use the tracing paper to see a little better and then we can trace our clothing on the tracing paper then put that onto our paper transfer it onto the paper and then work that way so it's up to you i'm going to do it the long way so i'm going to use the tracing paper and then transfer it so what we're going to do is i think let's do I think he needs a hat. So let's do a hat. And because he's, it's cold in the Antarctica, I think we do a beanie. So I am going to start around here and make my way around the top of his eye. And come down and around to the end. And we're going to go a little further because it's a beanie and going to curve up and maybe stop here then follow the shape of his head and then just come off his head just a little bit and now we're going to connect these two lines just make it a little round like that so it should go past the head of our penguin now we're going to just do Big curve around and down. I'll cut that in a little bit, like so. And we are done. We can put some lines in if we like, just to show the texture of the beanie. And some curves in like this. So start from the middle, we're just going to add some curved lines following the line of the beanie shape. Like so. And now we have our beanie. Now, if you're using tracing paper, you're going to have to retrace this. Because if we transfer this over now, it's going to be the wrong way on our penguin. So, what we need to do is first, just in the corner, retrace what we did. 
very quickly. Add our lines in. Like so. And then flip it back over. Now we can transfer that onto the paper like so and then you'll find it's going to fit our penguin perfectly now again if you don't have tracing paper you can just simply create your hat on the character if you can see and let's just do that really quickly start come around and down up follow the top of the head and our lines And you can do as many or as little lines as you like. And now we're going to get our marker pen. Now, with the marker pens, always be careful. I always have an extra bit of paper, just in case it bleeds through. And we don't want to draw it on our character and ruin our character. So make sure you've got a piece of paper or set our character to the side. And now let's trace our beanie, our black marker. lines in and we're looking good now we've got our beanie I think he also needs a scarf so back to our character again let's put and now because we're going to be cutting these out you don't need to have it exactly, you can have it over here and then we can put the scarf in over there, um, up to you. Uh, and what we're going to do is fill up this piece of paper with a couple of items. So for the scarf, we want it to look like it's going around its neck. So, and I'll save some space, I'm going to go over here. Now, somewhere here, the top of the neck, we're going to start out and make our way away from the penguin and then we're going to curve in and around and make our way somewhere around the middle and stop then we're going to leave a bit of a gap for the moment and then continue this line around and do the same thing where we go past the penguin go up and similar height and position as the other side we're going to come back and connect it like so so if i move that there should be a big gap where the head is now we're going to do another line below maybe just in line with this where the white and the gray connect and we're not going to go out this time we're just going to go straight in and follow this line and stop around the same side and then again with this side we're going to do exactly the same thing somewhere around here and add a line so it's going to look like that now we need to do the knot of the scarf and what we're going to do is from this line we're going to draw rest of our scarf down now you can make it go as low or as high or you can make it roll down the ground if you like totally up to you and we'll do might bring this in just a little bit and 
we're not going to we're going to do the same thing as same line as this but a little further inside we're not going to connect it to these lines we're going to go a little further in like so and follow the line now i'm just going to add my ends of my scarf like that then the reason why we left this is because we need the other side of the scarf so where we've the top of this line we're going to now draw a line down and maybe go the opposite way and stop i'm going to stop a little short again feel free to make it longer shorter or bigger or smaller however you like and stop and then just somewhere on this line we're going to follow this line out so we're going to come out from this scarf and make our way out there and then like that i'm going to add my little lines like so now we're just going to finish it off and with this side we're going to do a round curve and make our way just off to the right and now we have a scarf i think i'm going to put some patterns on it and i might just do some lines some thick lines you can do some circles if you like some polka dots or some flowers or some moons or stars or whatever you like i'm going to just quickly do some thick lines like so and do the same to my other side like so and then we can't forget now i was going horizontally with my lines now for the neck i'm going to go vertically and just do a couple like that and like that there we have our scarf now again remember if you're using tracing paper let's flip it over and quickly retrace our scarf And again, remember, make sure we're not marking our character. We don't want to hurt him. So let's quickly finish the drawings here. And then again, we flip it over and quickly color it in. Like so. Get our marker pen and quickly draw in our lines. Now it's time to color in so let's color in i might do a let's do a green hat i think quickly color in our green hat and for the scarf let's do a red and yellow stripe scarf now when we color in our scarf remember that he covers around the neck so when we color it in we need to make sure that we don't color in over the penguin so remember we only drew these lines here we're going to 
put a line and connect those two. Firstly, I'm just going to color in this in red and do every second one in red. So I want to do that and there. Oops, and see what I did? I marked my character like I told you not to. Silly me. So let's put that in and do that. And I'll quickly color in the rest. Now we've done our accessories. Feel free to do more hats and clothing if you like. You can do a different style hat instead of a beanie. You can maybe do a tie instead of a scarf or a jumper or a t-shirt. Maybe add some shoes. You can have a lot of fun with this. But for today, I'm just going to do these two items. Now we're going to get our scissors. And if you need permission, please ask a parent or guardian. Because we don't want to hurt ourselves. And what we're going to do is cut around, cut out our hat. Okay, now I've cut my accessories, time to dress up the character and I'm going to put my scarf down and my beanie to keep the penguin's head warm and now it's ready for winter. Feel free to explore different kinds of clothing, maybe a tie or a jacket or a t-shirt or a sports shirt. You could put maybe a tennis racket in the character's hands, some glasses even, put some shoes on depending on what uh, character you want to create. And once you've done that, we can actually take it one step further and I've cut my character out. And because my character has winter gear in, on, I've decided to add a glacier background and put him on an ice cap with an ice wall background to go with the accessories I put on my penguin. So you can have a lot of fun with this and explore different backgrounds and different clothing and just have a lot of fun creating. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed and had as much fun as I did and I will see you next time.